At McMaster University, we have one of the largest programs in academia in North America in transportation electrification. At McAuto, which is the McMaster Institute for Automotive Research and Technology, we have more than 250 researchers involved. They are focused on developing the next generation of transportation technology from advanced manufacturing techniques, powertrains and powertrain components including electric machines, engines and transmission, to power electronics and chargers, to computing systems and embedded software, to lightweight material, battery cells and energy storage systems. We're setting up a solar carport here on site on the uh, Mont building grounds. A microgrid is just a smaller version of a grid. Say, for example, like your home or like a, a commercial building that has its own a power network. And it also has the, the option that if the, the bigger grid goes down, then uh, it can island and still be powered up on its own. The people that benefit from this technology is everyone. Uh, for example, the, the users of the adaptive energy management system they can save on their energy costs. And the utilities can also benefit uh, by re reducing the uh, peak demand overall and making the whole grid uh, more stable. One of the things that's unique about Mark is that we have all the necessary disciplines for automotive research under one roof. So we have you know, mechanical ele engineering, electrical engineering, power electronics, um, but also there's a very large software component. If you think of modern vehicles, then there's typically 60 plus uh, microcontrollers in the vehicle that are helping to deliver advanced fuel economy features, active safety features, and never before has there been the requirement to produce safety critical software in such high volume and you have to produce a new model every year or your competitors are going to clobber you. The people at McMaster coming out of software engineering are trained in control systems and they're engineers. We have this incredible facility here. We typically you have these walls between the different disciplines. And in order to effectively deliver a vehicle, all of these disciplines have to collaborate. And that's a classic McMaster approach.